It's an incredibly rainy day, so I'm working on a happy little project. I'm trying to make a fabric postcard for my pen pal, and hi, Amy. And I've made one before, but I never used cardstock. I actually backed it with a piece of muslin and then stamped on it with some rubber stamps and some fabric ink. But this time, I'm gonna use the cardstock, and I don't have the interfacing that the tutorial uh, calls for. So I'm trying Wonder Under that I have left over from another project. So cross your fingers that this works and it adheres this to that. So I just realized a mistake I made. Um, I'll blame it on making this in the dark last night. Uh, we had another termite swarm. They're usually worse after it rains and it's been raining the past few days. So anyhow, we had a, a, a termite swarm last night and so we were trying to you know keep the house as dark as possible <laughs> and that's what I pieced most of this and I just realized that white spot is actually supposed to be that same blue for the top of the head but I think Amy's going to forgive me and we'll just say that this one has some white feathers this one's going gray a little early but yeah, if you're making this uh, pattern, it's a free paper piecing pattern if you're part of the newsletter for pen and paper patterns. And it's really cute. Uh, but yeah, I just it just took me all of this. I mean, I've gotten to this point where I just now realize that that's supposed to be blue instead of white. So we're just going to say he has some white feathers. Or she. Okay. That worked really well. I only went around one time with the zigzag stitch. But, and then I've doubled back right there. So yeah, ready to mail. So the special blue bird with the white feathers. <laughs> it looks like we only have black and white pets. <laughs> Where's doing? Piper? There she is. Hey, Pipe! They're all grayscale. Guys! Monkey, leave him alone. Squirtman, you ready to go outside? Look, we have tomatoes. I'm about to go get a pair of clippers and clip some. I'm looking forward to a sandwich. Uh, our neighbor gave us some sourdough bread, so excited about that. You can tell it's been a long time since we've ridden bikes. If this part of the boardwalk collapsed and I didn't even know about it. So taking our bikes out for a ride and didn't realize we were going to be gone this long because I didn't bring a water or our helmets. It was supposed to be down the street and back, which uh, turned into a little bit farther and a little bit farther. So I need a water. It's a mile, mile and a half. Yeah. I was finished trimming trees, but the trees had other ideas. Uh, everything's fully leafed out, especially with all the uh, rain that we've had. So there's some that are hard to walk under and won't be able to uh, run the lawn more underneath them. So today, just trimming a few trees. My neighbor's doing a fire, so I figured I'd go ahead and take advantage of that. You could probably hear her in the background using the pole saw. So figure uh, fire's going, might as well trim some trees. Okay, the color.
color in this video is off, but that's intentional. Right in the middle of the screen, you can see three Carolina Wren eggs. And the light is just right where I can see them with my eyes, but the camera wasn't picking it up until I uh, changed the, the brightness. So I'm gonna zoom out slowly. Hopefully I can do this slowly. See, keep your eye on the center. Yeah, they are right there. Good morning. It's Saturday and today I have the very unglamorous job of starting to wash the house. Uh, it's been what going on seven months since Hurricane Zeta and we still have the black shingle marks on the house and also there's still just like little bits of debris from you know leaves hitting the house and also uh, little bits of the insulation and I'm tired of looking at it and it's time to wash the columns in the soffit anyhow we get mildew on that or on those just from you know regular regular wear and tear but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and start washing the house and get it ready uh, for painting so I don't know how far I'm gonna get today uh, it's actually a nice day it's not too hot uh, but I just don't know if I want to spend all day uh, washing the house. So we'll see, maybe if I can get two sides done, I'll call that good. Just so you can see this first spot that I did, you can tell where the mildew. Uh, also some of that is just from the soffit sitting on the ground before we were able to put it back up. It just got dirty even though I rinsed them off. I didn't scrub them before they were reinstalled because I knew they were gonna get dirty and you, you see, like that. Those are all fingerprints from us reinstalling everything. So it's time to get out here and scrub a little. Thanks for helping with the columns. Are you not cold? You're wearing cotton. I'm wearing quick dry and I'm cold. Cold? I'm wetter than you are though. Okay, I got two sides of the house done. I did the soffits, walls, and windows. Darren came behind me and uh, he's going back and forth with work today. So he did some of the columns, but two sides is about all I can do uh, as far as energy levels and uh, what do you call it? My neck and shoulder are starting to hurt and I have a blister. So I think that's a good time to call it. Uh, and I think I'm gonna wait a week or so until we're back in the high 80s before I do the other two sides because it was a little chilly with the wind. So it needed to be done. It looks so much better, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna hold off. So this is definitely gonna be a to be continued project. I'm stuck. I bogged down yet another zero turn. Apparently these things are really either heavy or way more sensitive with mud than our old lawnmower. So yeah, I'm waiting for Darren to come get me out because I'm stuck in a ditch. <laughs> actually jumped in it but yeah I uh, have access to the zero turn now now we have a cart stop scratching baby girl it is bath weekend somebody's getting a bath that didn't involve rolling and scat oh yeah but yeah super super excited uh, so what Darren it just needs um, we want to make it longer but needs new wheels and we want it to set down uh, or situate a little lower Okay, Lucy and I are making plans 
We think we're gonna paint it. It does have some rust spots and uh, it's gonna have to live outside. We don't have space for it in the garage. So, uh, eh, I'll probably just sand it and use whatever random spray paint cans I have. What do you think, Lucy? What do you think, huh? Do you agree? You just wanna play fetch. Oh. Okay, her April bark box got here in May and now her May is here in what it's already just the 16th. Yes. So May bark box and we have is... bark fist in bed. I don't know if this is actually the May theme or if it's another recycled box. So let's see what she got. She oh oh, oh wow is that a treat dispenser? A no. Oh grapefruit. Grapefruit. Grip fruit. Grip fruit. Uh, is that a uh, whoa that is that just like, like bacon. a giant tough break bacon yeah I'm gonna break our <laughs> toes and then yeah her Ow. regular uh two box or two bags of treats and two chewies so we you're just gonna uh, and piper has to put her official seal you, want this? you don't even know what it does it doesn't I, do anything. I think, maybe it, you put I think you're supposed to put treats. Why don't you give her the other one instead? She's like, Dad, I can't do anything with that. Easy, <laughs> easy, baby. Oh, my God. Is, is that one of the hard vinyl ones that you're going to be sanding every few days? Do you want that? You do? What are you going to do with that? Happy, drop it on our feet. <laughs> Goose. Yep, she just goes gonna gnaw on it. It's one of her favorite activities. Darren will be sanding this every couple of days. <laughs> okay, it's been almost two weeks since I've checked the trails and Darren's back here with me. Oh, did I just hear something? See, it's getting way too overgrown and no one has time to help me maintain this section. So it's getting super overgrown and I didn't want to come back here by myself anymore.